Hey everyone, in this video I'll be covering my tips on engine timing in regards to the, an EJ25 or an EJ20 with dual overhead camshafts. A lot of people seem to have problems lining up the double marks so I'll be discussing that in this video. Now I'll show you how I rotate the engine using the crankshaft bolt. This is what I like to use. I use the crankshaft bolt and I use the oversized nut and I put it there and then I just tighten it on the nut so I don't have to put the harmonic balancer back on you want to watch all the timing marks, the double marks here that mark there, this mark here your crank mark and similarly on this side your double marks here that side mark there and then this top mark here take note of all of them and you can go ahead and rotate the engine so just good practice to always make sure you check the timing marks before taking off the belt just so it gives you an indication of where all the timing sits from factory so we're coming up to the mark now I like to look at the passenger side or if you're in America the left hand side um, cam gears just look at the double marks and just try and line those up so now if we look here this one here is lined up to that one there this crankshaft mark that's perfectly lined up there I'll go into this side. The double marks there are kind of lined up, but if you come up to the top here, that timing mark is lined up with the rear uh, timing cover. It's lined up quite well. And if you go to the side here, this mark here is also lined up quite well. Now we'll move on to the other side. So I don't know if you could tell, but this side is not perfectly lined up, even though the crank is perfectly set in service mode. is quite common I found this on a few of these EJ20s these marks here they never seem to line up so these double marks usually don't line up on the left hand side this top one seems to line up okay this bottom one seems to be okay but on the driver's side perfect here, perfect here, and perfect here. And when you have it here, that means you're on service mode. That means the pistons are sitting in here and in here. So they want contact with the belts. But you have to be careful on this side, because the intake and the exhaust valve both these two the if the cam spin they can contact you with each other so you want to lock it or be very careful with these two cams you can let them rotate freely as long as this one rotates first and this one rotates secondly and this one has to go always clockwise and this one has to go anti-clockwise as they will contact with each other 